Hi guys and welcome to Hit Drop and Toe. <laughs> anyway, how are you today? Hope you're all well. Nearly Christmas. That's with the silly hats, you see. Oh, do you know what? Never a guest. Well. <laughs> today, we have got some birthday shout outs. We have. And the first one is for our lovely granddaughter, Maddie. And she will be 10 on the 7th of December. She will. She will, yeah. Happy so, birthday, Happy Maddie. birthday. Happy birthday to you. Not happy to birthday to Not you. To happy birthday, dear Maddie. Happy birthday to you. That's a copyright strike straight away. Um, <clears throat> second birthday? Second birthday. Um, we wish a happy birthday to Rose Privet. Happy birthday for the ninth rose. You didn't think we knew, did you? No, we did. So, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to a lovely lady rose. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm Cause, excited. Because you've got bells on your hat. No, it's not Christmas. I can't wait to see <clears throat> what I've got. I can't wait. It's just after Christmas. Such a Grinch. No, we go away. Well, that's it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, we've also got a thank out. Do, uh, do, do. Yeah, we received our first, only of this year, our first Christmas card. We did. So we'd like to thank uh, the people who sent it. So thank you very much, Trev and Sue from Postcats Camping. If you don't know the channel, you should. <laughs> go over there and have a look at them. <laughs> yeah, and. Um, if anybody would like to send us a Christmas card, then please do. Yeah. The email is below, which is hitchupandtow at yahoo.com. You're getting really good at this, you know. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just sit back. Go on. Okay. So, we've been sent a few questions today. Have we? Have we, we have. Okay. Uh, the first question is from Our Vision Nomadic Living. Uh, they are from across the pond. That's mm -hmm. uh, Sean and Angie. Angie. And Jazz. The doggy. The doggy, which is short for Jasmine. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, like more like I it. hope so, anyway. Like Jasmine's? <clears throat> no. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> and they are asking, have we gone to King's Cross and looked for platform nine and three quarters? Well, how else would we get to school when we were kids? Exactly. I mean, of course we have. Yeah. What a question, eh? I know. <laughs> These foreigners. Uh, second... Again, pop over and see these channels if you don't know them. I'll leave links in the uh, description. So pop over, give them a look. Yeah, give them a like as well. Yeah. Little thumbs up. You can give us a thumbs up as well if you want. You can give us two if you like. Uh... <laughs> Uh, a third question is from Jarhead and Ginger's Journey. Scott That's the second Nelson. question. No, it's not. It is because you moved it. It's not. It. Yeah, because you moved it. <laughs> so who was right? What? Who was right? Okay. Me. Hmm. Anyway, second question was, I'll start again, from Jarhead and Ginger's Journey, which is Scott and Alison. Another couple from across the pond. Mm-hmm. Are we only getting people from across the pond watching us? I don't know. I like people from across the pond. They might invite mm. us on holiday. Ooh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Now, they say that Bandera is the cowboy capital of the world. And they have dude ranches where you can pretend to be a cowboy. Can you pretend to be a dude? I always wanted to be a dude. <laughs> I've always wanted to be one of those Buxton women that served the jugs. <laughs> <laughs> We saved the ale and the jugs in the, in the saloon. I don't think they had them in America. I think you think they're more of Germany. No, 
is it? In we haven't Amer- seen it on telly. In America, I think the women in the saloon serve something else. When I watch on telly, you, you'll back me up, guys, won't you? That there was always a woman in the saloon saving the men drinks. A scantily clad lady, you mean? Well, I don't know. She was sort of I don't think she was, and... Yeah, I don't think she was serving drinks. But never mind. Well, she always had drinks in her hand. Did she? Yeah, big jugs of stuff. Big, yeah. Anyway, I would like to go there. But I'd like to wear one of them dresses that they wore with the thingy thingies and the skirts underneath and stuff. But I'd like to also spit in a spittoon. You're gross. <laughs> there must be something in life that you've always wanted to do. That's not spitting in a spittoon. Being a cowboy. Yeehaw! With your spears? Mm, never mind. Oh. Anyway, yes, yeah, so if I think that's then my go to place then is Bandera. I'd like to go there. I don't want to be a cowboy, but I wouldn't mind looking at the butts. Anyway, our third question was from It's About Time Now, which is uh, Brad and Diana, another couple from across the pond. <laughs> They said they watched our video on Southport Christmas lights and they'd like to know what time of the day was it um, filmed because they're fascinated at the the time it goes dark, the further north you are. Yeah, well, I think it was around about half four or five o'clock in the afternoon. It was. It was yeah. half past four. Was it half four? It was half past this four. This time of year, it normally, if you work inside, you go to work in the dark and you come home in the dark. Yeah. Not a lot of light hours at the moment. No. Uh, That's why it was so busy. That's why there was a, well, I don't know if you've seen on camera, there was a lot of cars that day, so we had to try and judge when to do the filming and stuff. Yeah. But, but, yeah, um, about half four. Yeah. Half past four, which is a bit naff, really, isn't it? It is. Mind but you. Oh. It could be worse in the summer at half four in the morning. It's light. Yes. Nothing open. It's nothing to do at half four in the morning when you wake up. And it doesn't go dark till about 11. No. So. Uh, but I did notice yesterday I was watching a vlog and there was people in Canada and they have thick snow. We don't have thick snow. I know, but they we have, have thick snow. We have intelligent snow. snow. They. they... <laughs> <laughs> it looked very nice actually it was just like a blanket they went to um the canadian park uh i can't remember what it was called sorry um and it was just there was like no one had stood on it or anything it was absolutely beautiful so yeah well we we had a little bit of snow but it didn't really lay did it we yeah. had a bit of snow and a bit of rain and a bit of hail we always have a bit of rain and then a bit of sun all on the same yeah. day yeah that's yeah. normal for us over here <laughs> Um, do you want to write me down the next question? Oh, which was the next question? Is that Maddie Metcalf? Yeah. How much would you pay maximum for a pitch mm. or for our American friends a site? Mm. Um, I, I must admit know. it has gone up a bit lately. It has. And um, I don't know. It's a hard one. Depends on the pitch, depends on the time of year, yeah. and depends what we're doing. It, it depends if you've really wanted to go somewhere as well, I think. Um, if you've really wanted to go to a site for a long time and you keep thinking, well, we'll go there, we'll go there, then I don't really suppose the cost matters so much. No. Um, I mean, we wanted to go to a few places for a long time and we did, no yeah. matter what the cost was. So. We do, I, I just. Do you think that the cost is going up quite a lot now? Mm. Um, and I suppose when we, if it's not like a summer holiday, when we're just going away for three for or four days on our own, we probably look for something, we don't like paying much more than about mid-20, £25, around that sort mm. of price. Yeah, if it's not our main holiday, then the cheaper the better. Yeah. Basically. I mean, we used to go to a lovely CL site, which was £5 a night, and we absolutely loved it. Yeah. But it's gone. That's gone now. Um, mm. Yeah, because that reminds me about the um, the caravan club now. Yeah. And the uh, caravan club are talking about um, put deposits mm. on holidays. Mm. Now I don't know what people think of it, and everyone's you know got their own opinion. It's totally up to you. But we joined the caravan club 
or the Caravan and Motorhome Club, mm. mainly for two reasons. One, the ease of booking. You yeah. didn't need to pay a deposit and you could just book. And, of course, the CL sites, because we like CL sites. Mm. Um, <clears throat> I don't think the sites, Caravan Club sites, are any cheaper no. than private sites. No. Um, you pay a, a yearly subscription to get a, a benefit. And I think if they're going to take that benefit away, i.e. the deposit scheme coming in, mm. I can't see why we should be, you know, why would you pay a membership? Yeah. I mean, I don't see, rather than doing the deposits... I can see why they're doing it. Yeah, well, I can't to stop people booking the yeah. whole year for weekends. And some people out there will just go, from, I'll book everything throughout the year, yeah. which isn't fair on other people. Mm. But, but I think if you done a, if you booked five, you're allowed to book five at a time. Five bookings. Five bookings. Five or, yeah, or six yeah. bookings. I still think that would work. Yeah. If you've just done five bookings at a time or something like that, they brought in a maximum amount you can book for that time. And then when you've used them, then you can book another yeah. five or something like well, that. Well, if you've got five, if you use one, then you can then book another one. Well, yeah. So you get a maximum of bookings, say a five or six bookings at any one time, I think might solve the problem. Yeah. Don't know. It, you know. What, what, do, you what do you think? Yeah. Hmm. Let Give us us your know. views. Um, Put a comment down below and uh, we'll read it out next week. Yeah. Hmm. Um, what else we got? Our last comment is from, oh right, Grace Pilkington. Hello, Grace. Hi, Grace. Now she wants to know, when are we doing a stick and mug giveaway? Well, that's we a, that's do. That's a bit cheeky, you know. We do. Every time we go away. <laughs> You've got to look at me rear. <laughs> Yes, but we did decide something after our vlog last week. Ah, uh, we did. We decided that next door was banging on the wall again with a hammer. <laughs> How much DIY can one person do? I don't know. More than you. <laughs> Excuse the noise, guys. Um, yeah, so we decided last week. Yeah. Your turn. My turn. <laughs> Um, that we would do a mug giveaway each week. Each Monday. Each Monday on the Monday Waffle. Mm -hmm. No up, other time, just the Monday Waffle. Up until Christmas. Yeah. So, what we're doing is everyone who comments in our Monday Waffle, and only our Monday Waffle, mm -hmm. will be put in the drawer, and my lovely assistant will pick a name out, and they will win a mug. And a sticker. A and a sticker. sticker. Yeah. Oh, that's going a bit over the top, isn't it? <laughs> a sticker so as I well. Think, I think there's three Mondays. So that's today, yeah. next Monday, and the Monday after. So today is everyone who didn't know this at the time, but everyone who commented last week in our, on our video yeah. is in the drawer, and you could win a mug. And a sticker. So if you'd like to be in for your, with, no, if you'd like to be in for a chance to win a mug and sticker next week, comment. then please comment or ask a question on this week's waffle. Yeah. Only on the waffle. If if you put it on anything else, like the Christmas lights or anything, it's not going to count. No, only comments on this waffle for next week. Yeah. Um, and if you do win, you'll need to email us at hitchupandtoe at yahoo.com. Are you going to say something then? Yeah, I was going to say it. But... Which we'll put down the bottom here and email, email us on that address with a postal address and we'll get it sent to you. If Ho we don't receive a postal address, we can't send it. No. And hopefully the last one will arrive before Christmas. Yeah, that's it. And you might even get one of our Christmas cards. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Mm. Forgot about them. <laughs> so... No further to do. We have them. No expense spared. Yeah. You see that? We, we we did try the wheel, guys, but you know it was all trying to turn the camera around and back again, and because we only do it on a phone. So Shh. we don't. <laughs> we have really good equipment and bells. And bells. Don't forget the bells. So yes, they're in here. Now, would you like to hold that and I'll? Oh, do I pick? No, you can hold the bowl and That's I'll watch. Whoa. <laughs> In the bowl. Oh. Go on, hold it up. So I hold it up here. Well, not too far. I've got to reach. Uh, I've got. Oh, yeah, but you might look. You might look. Come on. We're only going to have one winner each week. Oh, hang on. That's if you ever get one out. <laughs> right, I'll open it on camera. So. 
Oops, hang on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Grace Pilkington. You we go. have won. You have won yourself a mug and, and a sticker. sticker. And one of our Christmas cards. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and a Christmas card. Yeah. What's the name? Are we going to, oh yeah, because, well, well, I don't know. We've got to say Happy Christmas, haven't you? Yeah. Happy, so, happy Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations to you, Grace. So anyone... Oh, well, we're going to chuck with them in now. Yeah. Anybody that comments on this blog will be put into our draw for next yeah. week. And Grace, if you can send us your address to Hitch Up and Toe, which is down here, we will get that up to you. Yep. Um, bit of a short one this week, isn't it? We haven't got really much to talk about. Um... No. It's just that it's Christmas coming and uh, I hope everybody's getting ready for the big red man. Who? Santa. Oh. Yeah, it's all exciting. I'll have to put my suit on. You mean you haven't? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I hope you're all ready for Christmas and um, turkeys. Haven't turkeys gone up in price? I don't know, have they? Yeah. I mean, they say an extra large one. <clears throat> saves 11 to 15 but honestly not in this household it don't i don't know where they get the extra large from but no way do you, we think, only... do you think we eat too much well we only get the crown anyway don't we yeah we only get a turkey crown because nobody else eats the well, the kids won't eat the rest of it um although you don't mind a, a leg do you oh, i like a leg now and again <laughs> i prefer the breast myself but i don't then... mind breasts either <laughs> But um, yeah, the kids alone. I, eat... I, I do like a good bird. I must admit. Well, the kids alone eat the uh, the white meat anyway. So, mm. but yeah, that's a bit. Um, I just thought they'd gone up in price a bit. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, we'll love you and leave you. And don't forget, comment below, ask a question, and we will put you in the drawer for next week. We will. And if you like what you see, then please give us a thumbs up. And subscribe. Share out as well. Share. Share, 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 share. Okay, guys. See you soon. Next Monday. Bye, Bye. for now.